Okay, currently we have this script we've been working on um, that draws horizontal lines for us in between words if we want. Let me go ahead and edit that. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these. I'm going to keep this simple here. I'm going to delete our little character reference here and just say char equals, and in this case I'll just do plus signs. So now I can run that script and it prints our line and our line of text and then our line of characters come back in here and I can do a line before and after. Bingo. So now what do we want to do? Let's say we want to get a little more graphical. Now we are going to use emojis to draw our lines and there's a lot of emojis out there. What I'm just going to do, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to choose uh, one that I have here as a hot dog. So we should get a line of hot dogs. Not a problem. Now, think ahead. Most people nowadays with modern systems are going to be able to display emojis in their shell, whether they um, look more like Unicode or they actually look like emojis, as I have in my shell. But some systems may not have that set up. So you want to be careful using things like this in scripts. Uh, it could break some systems or at least get funky output. But if I run our script now, you can see I get the line of hot dogs, but I'm getting two lines of hot dogs. I have tried this with a few emojis. It seems like emojis take up double the space of a regular character, at least with the font set that I'm using in here for my emojis. Uh, so again, using the emojis in a script like this, I wouldn't advise it. We're doing this for fun, um, but you also might want to do it in a script, so that's why I'm showing you. So how can we um, fix this? Well, if they're using, if it's double the space, we just need to shorten our number of characters. So here with W, uh, we're saying W set to the number of columns, T put, and obviously as we said, we're getting two for each emoji. So let's reset W by saying dollar sign and double parentheses here, and then we will say dollar sign W divided by two. And now that I've done that, what we're doing here is we're getting the number of columns, and I could do this all in one command. I'm putting down two lines to keep things a little simple, uh, simpler. So we're doing T put to get the, the number of characters based on the width of our screen. So if we change the, the size of our window or the font in our shell, it's going to get how many characters are the width of that. But then we're taking that, dividing it by two, and then we're going to print that number of characters across the screen. So now, I can do that and I have lines of hot dogs around my text. So quick, short, simple. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you keep watching and I hope that you have a great day. Filmsbychris.com, that's my website. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a great day.